hey everyone welcome back to your about tutorials today i'm going to tell you how we can add a multiple empty rows so this is the client data file i have i'm going to add a three rows just start with the amit dynamically with the help of ui path so this is the macro file i have created and this with the help of alt f11 you can have the code here you can see alt f11 this is the code that i have just written in vba so before this code let me go to the studio where I have a excel application scope and I'm just passing this macro files name here and use the ex execute macro this is the activity you can find it from the activity pa panel in the properties just pass the function name of macro that is add new row and the three arguments I'm passing file path find value and total rows to add and this is the macro output if any exception occur we can have we can we don't need to open that macro and we need to check what exactly the exception is so we can have the description of that error here in the macro output variable this is this is the object type so here i'm passing the amit and three so i want the three rows to be added just after the amit in the client data file if i'm going to run this you can see the three rows is added now if I do here like if I I want the, it, the five more rows to be added now the eight rows will going to be added you can see here so this is you can you can see in the client data file eight rows is added now three for the first time and five for the next for the next time now I'm going to close this Excel and I'm going to remove this particular and what I will do here I'm going to put it as a 3 again coming back to macro file Alt F11. Now this is add new is a function three parameter that I'm I was talking about file path find value and a total number of rows. On error resume next. So on error resume if any any error occurs in this code it will going to return a value in the a string value. So you can see you can see here error dot description I'm putting in the add new row function and it's returning a string value. So this value will be going to be reflected here in the use studio in the macro output. So if, if the exception not come, then definitely you will not going to have any value. The blank value will be there. So this will going to open the Excel file, client data file. This will going to find the last row number. So last row number is for this is five basically. now so this is how this code basically so this is like I'm declaring a row index here as an integer so I'm finding the row index so I'm finding the row index of Amit so I'm finding the row index of Amit that is 4 so the bot will going to search so that code basically going to search from A1 to A5 so from A2 A1 to A5 where exactly the Amit is so Amit is on the fourth position so it will going to return the, this function will going to return a 4 basically this function will going to return a 4 in row index let me show the function so it will going to search from a1 to a5 as I have a 5 records I have a record still 5 if it's like if it's on the 10th record 20 30 50 thousand it will go as last row in number will have that particular index so we don't need to give the hard we don't need to do the hard coding here like a1 to a5 it automatically check where the last record is present in the excel and will going to have the range now it will going to find from a1 to a5 so where wherever the amit is there it will going to give the row index so this function ret retaining basically the row index so now i have a row index now I'm going to add a three rows 
just after the amid. If you are going to add a, inside a rows from the fourth position, you can see it's adding just above the amid. But I want to this row to be added just after the amid. Means I have to add from the index five. So for five, you can see five, then six, and then seven. So logically, what you will do here, I am just adding a one to the row index. When the four plus one is five, and this is row index plus total total rows to add. Row index four plus total rows to add is three, means seven. So the bot will going to add the empty rows on five, six, seven, and it will going to save the workbook. So this is how the VBA code is working. If you have any doubt, please comment on my video. Thanks for watching and subscribe my channel. Bye bye. Have a nice day.